Okay, good morning. <laughs> uh, we are making uh, another cookie. We are making a sablé. Uh, it's a different technique. When you make a chocolate chip cookie or oatmeal cookie, it, usually we use the uh, creamy method. And for this cookie, we're going to be making like a sablage. So you're going to really be breaking a little bit the butter and the sugar. It's just like 30 seconds just to break it a little bit. It is not cold, cold. It's probably colder than room temperature. All depends on your room temperature. So sugar, butter. You're going to be mixing it for about maybe 45 seconds or so. Just to break it a little bit. Okay, so uh, we, uh, we have the butter mixed with the sugar. We broke the butter, the cubes a little bit, and um, just broken. Now we're going to be adding the cheese, Parmesan cheese, a nice Parmesan cheese. We just uh, shredded. And then we are going to cream that for probably about another 30 seconds or so before adding the flour salt mm -hmm. uh, we are using cayenne pepper Let's see how it's going to work for us i think it's going to be great a little bit faster just to you know have everything together yeah yeah this is good we're going to be adding you, you can lift a little bit yeah and then we're going to be adding the dry ingredients. I like always to mix the dry ingredients a little bit before I add them. So I don't end up having a baking soda in one part of the dough and not completely distribute it. So just mix everything. Uh, I'm using chives, fresh chives. So the chives we should just add at the very last moment. Otherwise they're going to break a little too much. When you see that it forms a dough, it starts to form a dough, we can add the green. And now you can start adding the egg whites. A little bit at a time until you see that, you know, the dough forms. A little bit more. Another bit. Yeah. A little bit more. Yeah, all the egg whites. Sometimes the egg whites not going to be completely necessary. All depends on how much protein your flour has. And I'm going to be rolling it and cutting with a bicyclette or a bicycle. So try to just get all the dough together. And uh, you can remove that a little bit. Yeah, great. And um, we're going to... Be sure that we have everything combined. Go all the way to the bottom and mix whatever butter, whatever dry ingredient that you have. Be sure that you mix it. Every time that I make a muffin or a biscuit, I have to use some sort of leavener. This will have no leavener. So tell me. Just to mix. Maybe 30 seconds, yeah. I don't want to overwork the dough. So this now is going to be very soft. It's supposed to also rest after this stage right here. I could just open this in a square or a rectangle, you know, open the dough completely. And then I would um, put it in the fridge for a while. It could make my life a little easier. And it helps with texture and baking as well at least 30 minutes and if you put it in the fridge for too long you're gonna have to let it rest outside so you really should have something between 15 30 so I don't want it to be too thick I don't want it to be too thin this is probably about one and a half and let's make it a nice little cookie so the bicyclette has a, some sort of adjustment so we sort of cut everything the same size. 
when you work. Mm -hmm. Isn't it? Left over. And then we uh, can sort of cut them. Let me see here. I have a piece of cheese right here. Yeah. It's easier to handle it. Yeah, very nice. And then we can brush with a little bit of egg white. A little bit, yes. You can make it longer. You know, it's just, it would be nice on a little uh, bread basket, maybe. That's awesome, thank you. So we're going to egg white the top, just a little brush. So we can add a little bit extra cheese. We need extra calories here. And bake at 375 for about six minutes. Yeah, they're very little. And there's a lot of cheese. I don't want you to burn the cheese, you know. Some cheeses, uh, they resist temperature. Some will not. So Parmesan will resist the temperature, but will really taste bitter. You can overbake them. It's not a big deal. But it, it gets nicer, and, you know, it's something that you're going to put in your mouth. It's going to really melt in your mouth. And if you overbake it, it's more, it's a little flakier. You know when you bite into something and you feel air? This is not going to have air. It's going to be flaky but not airy. Dense. Light but not airy. Okay? Not dense, heavy. Not heavy. It's very light. So just a little bit more. A little extra. It's a very nice cookie. It's really worth it. And you can just make the dough and roll it when you need it. You can freeze it up to a month. Without a problem. This is uh, just more Parmesan cheese. Yeah, let's bake this for six minutes, and we see the color. This is the Parmigiano. Okay.